Yeah, and I guess, well, this phone's acting up, and you'll have to watch the videos. Um, I don't know. I'm just a decent guy. You know, I'm not perfect. I do apologize for the smoking last night. It is a new law, but, you know, there's parking lots on either side of this place I slept. And uh, we're supposed to be going green. And there is a small place to plug in your car, but... There's a whole parking lot filled with, and I mentioned the ventilation thing that would be needed for the Saudi Arabia, you know, expressway. That never happened because it didn't make any sense at all. I mean, Lamborghinis doing 500 miles an hour. Man, you wish. Um, you'd have to go electric for that. And, you know, you'd have to have some kind of energy source that can handle that kind of situation. But uh, only one I know with patent rights, something like that. I'm not trying to be a jerk about it. It's myself. That's my intellectual property. It's come right through Fresno State. Actually, all the proof has been proofed right here in our physics department with Doug Singleton. Um, you know, and uh, I know you're not supposed to be like, yo, I deserve a Nobel Prize. But I've been sleeping outside. I slept right here last night. Um... You know, and all I want is a place for my children. That's what I've been working for. You know, like uh, some people are willing to sacrifice their children um, and other people's children for such. And, um, you know, actually building your children strong and such to where they're willing to make that sacrifice, that takes character. You know, that's what my parents did with me. But uh, expecting me to be a lamb for the slaughter and not get credit for my stuff. I mean, that would be that would be a disrespect to myself. That would be a disrespect to my family, a disrespect to my country and everything I believe it teaches. And you know, that would be a disrespectful group of people or individuals that would take that from somebody to keep it for themselves. Um and, uh, you know, I designed a clean energy process. I did. There's no lie to that. I'm not telling tall tales. Um, to patent such, you also have to identify the energy source. And like I said, Stephen Hawking, yo, you know, um, when Albert Einstein's sister first came home, newborn from the hospital, first thing he said was, hey, where are the wheels? And, uh... You know, he was a different kind of kid. I was a different kind of kid, too, I guess. My parents called me Tank. It was like I had nothing in my head or something. Um, you know, I bump into a wall. And I wouldn't turn around. I play with my little Volkswagen bug that they got me. You know, and I still got an affinity for him. <laughs> I love Volkswagens. You know, it seems like a smart conversion. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Elon has a conversion for the 912 Porsche. Um... If you went 922, it would uh, fit right there in a Volkswagen, and I could get my old split window converted. Although, I've had, what, three of them now, and I haven't finished one yet. It's always been my dream car. Actually, uh, it'd be awesome. You know, my mom, born in 57. She's always wanted a 57 Chevy. Um, my dad, he wants a 58 bus, because my brother brought home one. I had a 1960. But uh, my kid brother brought home one that was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a special rig. I apologize, Jerry. I love you. I snapped the, uh, the main axle. Um, you know, like, they're tricky little things. <laughs> I do apologize. I love you so much. Um, I love my whole family, you know, but that's on here. Um, you know, my brother Jimmy. Yeah, Jim. Like, uh, we grew up together, and we fight and we also get along um my sister libby you know like uh whatever um i love you elizabeth you know that even with your lizard breath <laughs> no we just call her lizard breath i mean she doesn't have lizard breath i've probably got the funkiest breath of all of us which brings us back to insurance and all that like you don't see it right now but i've been walking with a limp um It'd be kind of hard for me to go back to construction right now, especially with uh, us not wanting insurance for everybody. Um, I can't pay for it myself. 
you know, but uh, our system's working somehow right now with gas. Now, if we got rid of, oh, wait, what's that? Is that the mark of the beast on your hand? No, and that is a simple heart. It shows you care. It doesn't mean reduce love, you know, but rule one is reduce, reuse, then recycle. It's not like, all right, cool. What we're going to do is we're going to put this here thing and we're going to pull out all of the fluids of the earth that, uh, you know, that we pretend we know everything about and we're just going to put them in the air. And then we're going to make it a federal law that you can't smoke on a school campus. But uh, we're not going to look at the plane site. Hey, Gazoo. What'd you say? Oh, he's not even there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Hey, Gazoo. Can you see an object spinning there? Like, uh, you know, like a sphere? Like a sphere? Or is that sphere one? Like a sphere. Oh, yeah. You mean like Earth? That thing that we're on, but we're not flying off of? Because, whoa, gravity holds us to it. And there's chemical bonds and molecules and atoms. That thing that's holding itself together yet pulling itself apart. Um, and there. There's entropic derivation. Force equals mass times acceleration. Um, you know, and then I go on to, uh, well, challenge. Faraday stuff. Um, Faraday. What a day. Um, it would, you know, he had an eye too. He had a pretty far eye. Um, he saw it too. He and, uh, you know, they just didn't have the equipment back then to, uh, show that, hey, look, they did it right here. They did it more eloquently than I always speak. I mean, you'll have to forgive me. Like I was just up there, um, I'm not trying to do any commercials for anybody else, but uh, my last name starts with the W, although it looks like two V's attached whenever I do it. <laughs> um, woo -woo. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, well, I was in there. I seen some cool stuff. There's just people being people, some old dudes playing chess. I was like, heck yeah, that's cool. You know, they were talking smack, like, that was a dumbass move. And, <laughs> you know, old dudes just ripping shots. And, uh, like, uh, some dude, I was like, walked out. You know, I'm sitting there getting my bike ready and stuff. And uh, unlocking my bike. And I was like, yo, I should probably, uh, well, I should probably use the little girl's room. Although I go to the guy's room. Although, yeah, whatever. I will knock. And if it's empty and I got to go, I'm coming in. And, uh, I mean, we do the same thing at home. It's not like I'm in there. I mean, I was a single dad. I had a hard enough time letting my daughter go into the women's restroom alone. Much less, yeah, I talked about that in another video already. Much less a bunch of grown-ass people, you know, stripping my daughter down and uh, not seeing how that could bother them. Oh, no, that's totally cool. Let's just strip this one down. And then we'll uh, paint them orange. And we'll put it in their kid's palm, and they can put that on their social media and send it to their friends and show them how funny it is. Like, that's messed up, man. For real. And you don't even think about it because, hey, I'm the chief of staff. Um, you might imagine how my hand gestures went. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't need that image. That's not who we are. It's not who we're supposed to be. I mean, we're the land of the free, yet we got a big wall now. I feel caged. Although, you know, I mentioned that too. It'll pass through right there. And then there's a punchline on the other one.